Every pal has a partner skill, but some are more powerful than others in a fight. These are the best unique abilities you can use in Pal World, from machine guns to rocket launchers, some are just the pal's natural abilities, but for most of these you will need to build the pal's specific mount first in order to use. A couple pal's abilities like Siblex and Cinemoth I did test and they're not very good, but also they're broken, which is why they're not included in the list. Also I haven't included just regular attacks in the list, only partner skills, but some attacks can be extra powerful, none more so than Shadowbeak's Divine Disaster, which leaves enemies with no chance, but for this specific video we're just looking at partner skills. Let's take a look then at all of them from weakest to strongest. Daydream's Dreamcatcher, while in a team, appears near the player. Follows up player attacks with magic bullets as well. So essentially every time you hit an enemy with Daydream in your team, it will also hit the enemy at the same time, but it's not your summoned pal, so you can also summon a second pal and use that at the same time as Daydream, which is probably why this attack is not very powerful on its own. Fox Sparks Flamethrower. The flamethrower ability is fun, but it's not the most powerful in the list. The one good thing about it is it will set enemies on fire, but unless you're using it against a pal that's specifically weak against fire, such as ice, then it's not the best one to use. Jolt Hog's Jolt Bomb. With Jolt Hog, you can pick him up and throw him at an enemy as a type of grenade. When activated, equips Jolt Hog to the player's hand, and then when thrown to an enemy causes an electric explosion upon impact. In terms of damage, it's not the best unless you're facing a water type pal. Lift Monk's Machine Gun. Lift Monk's partner skill is the ability to summon a machine gun and fire at enemy targets. When testing it out, it does fairly decent damage against any type of pal of equal level on normal difficulty as well. And the big issue though with this one is it has very little accuracy. So you need to throw Lift Monk really close to an enemy before you activate it, but it's a decent special attack for an early game pal. Masanda's Grenadier Panda. Can rapidly fire a grenade launcher while mounted. This is a super fun ability to use and while it doesn't deal huge damage, it can still blast enemy pals into the air as well so they can take additional damage through falling and you can also try to use it to knock enemies off of high places for extra fall damage if you want. Relaxosaurus's Hungry Missile. Can rapidly fire a missile launcher while mounted and like Mosanda but instead fires missiles instead of grenades. They deal okay damage, but I don't think it's significantly better unless your Velaxosaurus is a much higher level. Also, you can't use it till you're higher level as well because the mount is legendary and requires a lot of materials to craft. So it's decent later in the game, although there are better options. Bushi's Brandish Blade. When activated, attacks a target enemy with a powerful Ligiri. This attack does not require a harness to use and in terms of damage deals a decent chunk to your enemies, particularly those weak to fire damage. Pen Gullet's Cannon. When activated, the player equips a rocket launcher and fires Pen Gullet as ammunition. Pen Gullet explodes on contact and is incapacitated. This is a very powerful move, especially for early game, but it does kill your Pen Gullet at the same time, so it's best to leave it as a last resort when he's already on low health. Incineram's Flame Claw Hunter. When activated, attacks a target enemy with a powerful Hellfire Claw. Like Bushi, the attack doesn't require a harness, and it's actually one of the more powerful single strike abilities in the game. Most pals in the wild won't live after you hit them once with the Flame Claw Hunter. Taco Taco's Egg Bomb Launcher. When activated, equips the player and transforms Taco Taco into an egg launcher. Easily one of the funnest abilities in game to use and one of the more stronger ones, you can spam explosive eggs at your enemy and defeat any of them very easily. Grisbolt's Yellow Tank. Mount Grisbolt and can rapidly fire a minigun while mounted. The bullets don't do huge damage but the minigun lasts quite a long time and so the overall damage is high allowing you to kill a couple of enemies before the minigun runs out and so this is definitely one of the better partner skills that any of the pals have. Lastly we have Jetrogan's Aerial Missile Launcher. You can't get and use this pal until level 50, but when you do, his partner skill is the strongest in game. A missile launcher you fire while riding him that deals big damage to your enemies. On top of this, he's just a naturally powerful pal, one of the strongest in game before you even improve his skills, and of course he's the fastest mount as well, and the aerial missile launcher is just the bonus on top of that. 
So there we have it then guys, all the pals with the best partner skills to use in a fight. It's not always simply about who has the best attack stats, but what moves they can use. Like Taco Taco doesn't have the greatest stats, but he can outdeal damage over plenty of other pals who have better stats with his egg launcher. And while not always the most useful later in the game, when you're early to mid game, these skills can all come in very handy. Guys, if this guide was useful, like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.